All right, lead the way, doggy. There she goes. You taking a nap? You have a late night? He's sitting there stout, so I doesn't look like there's something wrong with him, but everybody else is up eating and you're just chilling. Got a little bit of a poopy diaper, but not sure why he didn't come up and eat this morning. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. Quite a few things on the list today. Last weekend was my wedding, and so we kind of took a few days off. And now we're back to it. We appreciate everyone that stopped in on the live during the ceremony and checked that out, celebrated with us on a very special day. Anyway, we, we got a few calves that are going to be going to a different feedlot. So we'll load them up, and then we got a tiny amount of tillage, and we'll talk about that when we're doing it. Some fencing, moving some cattle, so we got a full day. Dad was kind of late to the wedding, not the ceremony, but late to pictures, and he finally told me why. Apparently there are a couple calves here that were a little sick, and so he ran them through by himself. So that, ex that explains why he was late. <laughs> Don't quite need this today, but we got a path to get it out of the shed, so we'll pull it out. We have a pretty fun demo coming on Wednesday. Today's Monday, uh, and it's actually a rock picker. Never been around one, and it's and it's not the type where you drive up to it and then you have something that pulls it in real quick. It has chains and like kind of a cutting blade on it, and it picks them up and it sorts the dirt off, and it's pretty pretty fancy. We all thought the best place to use it is this big feedlot on the other side of these trees at Uncle Jeff's place because there's a lot of rocks in there, and that makes it difficult when we're uh, scraping up the lot and hauling manure because we don't want those rocks to end up in the fields that we're spreading. So we're gonna do some really light tillage since the tillage machine is over here and make it so everything feeds into that rock picker a little better. Jeff seeded sorghum in there or sedan grass or something. All those stems won't feed very well and all the root balls and that's why we really wanna dig it up. Disking up a feedlot before you put cattle in it is definitely not a good idea, especially when it's been as windy and dry as we have had it. You know, we're just trying to solve a problem, and we're only we're only going to disc this up once. We're never going to do it again. Hopefully, understand it's not great practice at all, but it's going to help us pick these rocks up, solve an issue we've had for a long time. It's going to make another issue for a short period of time, but it'll be nice when these rocks are all gone out of here. And also we do have supposedly some moisture coming later this week and then that will help tame all this dust. A lot of the rocks are smaller so we'll see if the machine's able to handle them but there's you know 10 right there in a really small spot so excited to see if we can make a difference. Okay, next thing on the docket, we gotta move some cows. We also gotta shut some gates where they're going and check the fence. Bring a bag of pellets with us so we can give them some of them and lure them out. Get that boiler going, it's cold out there. Yeah. I feel like I'm wearing shorts with this uh, big of a knee hole. That, Man, it sucks that. being broke.
So now they got another 200 acres of bean stubble to graze. Nothing too fancy, but there is some grass over there that they can clean up. And they'll be here just a couple weeks and then we'll move them to some corn stacks. I got the glove heater. Oh, it blows it right on the glove. We're almost done with the two mile fencing project. I'm sick of it, Pa. Just about four more hours. We got two wires we got a string on this entire eastern half mile. Might have to miss lunch and supper. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm all healed. I know. No more pain. Let's get some pain back. Oh, there's Nope. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha, I win. Hey Cole, I know it's cold out here, but have I ever told you to keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel? No. So the song of the day is The Doors, Roadhouse Blues. Cool song. Roadhouse! Not very often you see traffic on these roads. Oh, there's another one. Probably a drug deal. Actually, those ones were wearing orange, so they're probably hunting. Suspicious. Lemmigan's not too peppy on this cold day. I just gotta run all the way down this quarter mile that we put up and then it'll be lunchtime. I completely missed on that one. This thing saves a lot of time. It takes about five seconds to put three staples in. If I were doing it with a hammer, it'd take about 10 seconds each one. So yeah, that saves a lot of time. Of course, this does cost a couple dollars more than a hammer. I am speed crossing the finish line, Paul. We got some beef enchiladas in the fridge and I'm excited. You can hear their air rushing through their big nose holes, Cole. <laughs> oh my god. Still below freezing, so we might have to thaw one of those hydrants out. Yeah, it runs. Guess it's lunchtime. Let's lunch. Let's let's go do a lunch, huh? Let's have a lunch. Take a lunch over there, over yonder, where the lunch is. Lunchables. Got a job for the payloader today. I almost forgot how to start it. It's got a pretty cool feature here. It's got the cruise control. So I step on the gas pedal a little bit and then hold this. Grab what I need and it'll be kind of high idling and warm up. There are a couple trees that, well there's one that needs cut of just a branch and then there's a tree that fell down into the field. And then I'm gonna take these two branches to the south farm and that garage needs cleaned up because we've had a lot of work done and the appliances are at the house and so I can hook those up. So 
but there's this bit of a branch. You can see it sticks straight out into the field. It's a minor thing, but there's a really big tree over there that fell into the field. Killed two birds with one stone while we're over here. work out of that. This is a fun thing to run. Looks like the cows are chilling out over there, getting out of the wind. So the south farm is just a mile east of here. It's kind of funny, the south farm is further east than it is further south, but the garage has a bunch of garbage in it I want to get rid of and then uh, check out how the appliances look, if everything's there, if anything's damaged, and hook on, hook up the fridge. Someone left the front door open. Poo, poo. The fridge kind of jumps out at you. Oh my. That, uh, that takes up half the kitchen. Well, I like to eat, so I guess I won't complain about it. All right, the stove fit. <laughs> That's a good deal. This is the best part right here. It's nice. It's looking like something. Just need to get that hooked up. Got the plumber coming. Our construction guy, Mark, he's a local out here. He's getting a lot done as well. You can see we got some doors on. Trim. Master bedroom. Got the handle for the pocket door. Got Tiffany's shoe rack. And a lot of the stuff in the walk-in closet getting squared away. Pretty sweet. Electrician's coming tomorrow to put the lights on. We got some Wi-Fi hooked up earlier today so I can edit these videos. And then on Friday, we got the bed set coming. Week after that, should get a little bit of furniture in, but it's, it's coming along. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. We still got two more strands of barbed wire to put up. Dad had to take a shift at Storla Station, so he's been busy. Anyway, the house is coming along, the fence is coming along. We got some cattle to sort in the coming days, a little more fence to do, and of course that rock picker's coming out, and that's gonna be some sweet video. It's gonna start getting cold here next week. The highs are in the 30s and 20s, so ugh, that's chilly. I'm gonna have to start wearing some less holy jeans. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. No. <laughs> Darn kids.